and welcome to Wit AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Pablo Gutierrez. The flu is spreading the fast across the U.S. according to a new report from the CDC. Most of the worst respiratory illnesses remain concentrated in southern states like Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. However, the flu is starting to ramp up in other areas such as Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. Experts say this type of widespread activity has not been recorded in the U.S. in more than a decade. Young children and older adults are more at risk for complications from viral infections. Community is trying to pick up the pieces after the Colorado Springs LGBTQ Safe Haven Cl Club Q was torn apart when a gunman took the lives of five people and hurt at least 25 others. Sarah Kate Ellis, president and CEO of GLAAD, says what happened late Saturday night stemmed from hate that LGBTQ leadership has been long trying to subside. A fire that killed four children in northern Iowa was caused by an overloaded power strip. That's according to the fire chief in Mason City. The four boys, ages 3, 6, 10, and 12, died in the blaze. The children's father and 11-year-old daughter survived, but have burns and are in the hospital. There's a GoFundMe account for the family who lost the house and all of their belongings in the fire. More than $30,000 has been raised so far. A new type of scam is on the rise. The Iowa Credit Union League is warning residents of smishing. Scammers are sending texts that look like they're from, financial, uh, from a financial institution to steal account numbers and other financial information. The league says financial institutions will never ask for your social security number, full account numbers, or other personal information over the phone, text, or email. When we come back, we'll take a look at your WIT TV weather, sports, and entertainment. Stay with us. I've been deployed overseas six times with multiple combat tours. I have had a bounty placed on my head by insurgent forces. I haven't missed a day, a beat, in my career. I haven't been in the hospital since the day I was born. Only one thing has been able to take me down, COVID. And now I've done my part to take COVID down, getting the vaccine. Watch us on WIT AM and This Week on Campus. News by students, for students. We report daily news that is relevant to you. Students can count on WIT AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news and This Week on Campus every Friday. My name is Tosin Hikioya and I will keep you up to date on weekly campus events and information. Check us out on youtube.com slash WIT TV and around campus so you never miss out on the latest events and information. Welcome back. And in sports news, the Vikings seven game winning streak came to an abrupt end after they were crushed by the Cowboys 40 to three at US Bank Stadium. It was the Vikings worst loss since 2011. Kirk Cousins threw for just 105 yards as Minnesota dropped to eight and two on the season. The Vikings host the Patriots on Thanksgiving night. Disney is turning back to Bob Iger as its CEO in a surprise move. On Sunday, the company's board of directors said he's replacing Bob Chap Chapek, who's stepping down. In a statement, Disney said Iger is uniquely situated to lead the way during an increasingly complex period of industry transformation. He agreed to reclaim his position for two years after spending 15 years as company CEO. Iger announced plans to retire in 2020 as he handed the reins to Chapit. Today is National Fast Food Day. 
The unofficial holiday is another excuse for Americans to head to the drive-thru or the taco stand or the food truck. If today commemorated the start of the fast food industry, it would honor 1921, which a place called the Pig Stand in Dallas, Texas, opened the nation's first drive-in restaurant. The owner said they invented the drive-in because, in their opinion, people with cars are lazy and they don't want to get out of them. Maybe not much has changed in the past 101 years. Taking a look at today's weather, today will be a mostly sunny with a high near 43 north, northwest winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will also be mostly clear with a low around 23, calm wind becoming south around 5 miles per hour after midnight. And tomorrow, we'll be looking at a sunny day with a high near 50, southeast winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming west winds in the afternoon. Today on campus, come help us remember and honor the trans lives we have lost in the last year. There will be a panel in candlelight Virgil, Vir Virgil to follow in room D103 from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. All are welcome. Thank you guys for joining us and be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy the rest of your day.